White flag is raised, and that off. In the Jim Ryan Racecourse Services Beginners Chase over 2-5. The opening race of the meeting, it's Corbett's Cross and three-card Bragg onto the first, attended by Nick Rocket. Also right up with them is M. Deji as they clear their first fence. Also prominent is Monty Starr. Heading to the second fence on the approach to the straight and his three-card brag. Nudging on to lead, Nick Rocket, Monty Starr, Corbett's Cross and M. Deji. These five covered by less than three lengths, opening up an advantage of uh, Cutter Harlan, the start cap, alongside his Finn Faraway. And then Maya Mortal, tracked in to the two fences in the straight by Howsey Dizzy. The grey after them is Karuma Gray and then Good Time Johnny. Quartered cap of Jump the Shark and Kate Hill brings up the rear. Fence number three, first of the two in the straight. Again, all safely over. Field led by three card Bragg. Gone on a couple of lengths in front of Nick Rocket. And then Monty Star M. Deji tracked by Corbett's Cross. Behind them is Maya Mortal with Finn Fadaway and Cotter Harlan. How is he dizzy? Fence number four. And the last one next time. Three card brag into it. Over carefully from Nick Rocket. In third place is Monty Starr and then M. Deji and Corpus Cross and Maya Mortal next. Couple of lengths to Cada Harland and Finn Fadaway. How is he dizzy and Karuma Gray and Good Time Johnny with the final couple? Jump the Shark and Kate Hill. Another nine fences left to jump as they turn away to the first of four past the stands. Three card brag by less than two lengths to Nick Rocket. In third is Monty Starr a length away. Two lengths to M. Deji and then Corbett's Cross. Maya Mortal next with Cotter Harlan, Finn Faraway and Karuma Gray. Little changes in the order. Reaching the first of four past the stands. Three card brag. Leads Nick Rocket, Monty Starr, M. Deji, Corbett's Cross. On now to the ditch. Three card brag. Followed by Nick Rocket, Monty Star, good jump up on the outside, landed in second. And then M. Deji, who's followed by Corbett's Cross, and then Maya Mortal. One out of the next, the third of four uphill fences away from the stands. Three card brag, the leader. Followed by Monty Star and Nick Rocket, and then M. Deji and Corbett's Cross, fifth. Maya Mortal on the inside of Cotter Harla, last in this line. Now quite a run before they'll reach their next fence as they will not be jumping fences six and seven in the back straight due to the low-lying sun. It's three-card Bragg and Jack Kennedy by less than a length to closing Monty Starr and Rachel Blackmore. In third place is Nick Rocket and Paul Townend. Three lengths to Corbett's Cross who's edging into fourth for Mark Walsh and then M. Deji and Sean O'Keefe as they make the downhill run over on the far side of the track. They've passed halfway. Three card brag by a length and a half to Monty Starr. Very close in third is Nick Rocket, followed by Corbett's Cross. Alongside Corbett's Cross is M. Deji. Four, five lengths then to Cotter Harla, who's out in front of Karuma Gray and Maya Mortal and jumped the shark and Finn Fat away. Then how is he dizzy? Good time, Johnny and Kate Hill. They're getting spaced out. Three card brag. With less than seven furlongs to go and five fences to jump, maintains a lead of a length and a half over Monty Starr. Three parts of a length up on the third running Nick Rocket. They're tracked by Corbett's Cross. M. Deji, a little bit closer in behind them is Carter Harla. The fence bringing them to the completion of a circuit. Little mistake by Corbett's Cross. Three card brag, followed by Monty Starr and Nick Rocket. These three covered by two and a half lengths. Then Corbett's Cross on the outside, just shading the fourth from M. Deji and then Cotter Harla, Karuma Gray, my immortal. Jumped to Shark next and then Good Time Johnny. At the next, four fences from the finish. Three card brag. Monty Starr rejoined for second by Nick Rocket. And then Corbett's Cross and M. Deji as they head for three fences from the finish. Taking them round the home turn with half a mile to go. Three card Bragg, who's made the bulk of the running from Monty Starr, just wrestling back the second from Nick Rocket, being followed by Corbett's Cross, pushed along behind them as M. Deji as they swing into the straight. 
Two fences left to jump. Three card brag with almost on terms Monty Starr. A length and a half behind them and third is Nick Rocket. Coming stand side is Corbett's Cross and then M. Deji two out. Not much between three card brag Monty Starr. Chased in between the final two fences, Corbett's Cross and Nick Rocket, followed then by M. Deji, and these five are well clear. One fence left to jump, and the Jim Ryan Racecourse Services beginners chase three card brag. Corbett's Cross on the outside, in between them as Monty Starr away to the inside, tightened up for room. Nick Rocket over the last. Three card brag strongly pressed by Corbett's Cross on the near side, then Monty Starr and Nick Rocket, 150 yards to go, and it's stride for stride. Corbett's Cross is getting up on the stand side to run down the long time leader, three card brag, Monty Starr in third, Nick Rocket in fourth, and then M. Deji is Corpus Cross benefits from an initial run over fences. Just going to bring Emmett Mullins in here after Corbett's cross, Emmett. One what looked a really hot beginner chase. How pleased were you by what you saw there? Yeah, it's great to get that win. It's a very hard to win beginner chase in Ireland, and um, I'd say the run under our belt stood to us in the end, and... Um, Oh, hopefully you can go into bigger and better things. What was your feeling coming away from this? I read a few people saying they were a bit disappointed with him, but I thought it was a satisfactory enough run, wasn't it? I was happy enough. <laughs> thought you might be, yeah. <laughs> he showed, certainly showed the benefit of that today. Good value for the winning margin as well. Was Mark happy with him too? Mark was happy with him. He said he settled much better today. Funny enough, he said the two fences down the back, he, he got lit up again and travelled keen, bypassing the fences again. Um, but he says once there's a fence in front of him, he was very amenable and... Um, no, it's uh, second times. We already knew from last season he's got huge ability. What's in your mind for him for the next step? He's got grade one entries, obviously. He's got grade one entries, um, and I suppose getting out this weekend, it'll give us that option for Christmas. Um, but yeah, we'll, we'll come away from today and regroup, and um, we'll decide closer to time. Yeah, there's no long-term goal for him at this stage, is there? Apart from the Cheltenham Festival, I'm sure, but no, no particular race, is there? Uh, not at this time, no. Okay, we'll watch this space. New recruit coming up here, Sweet Will. How's he settled into your routine? Yeah, he's uh, he's settled in well. Uh, we don't have him long. I'd say he ran here six or eight weeks ago. Um, he's look, he's have to, he has to overcome a few disappointing runs, but um, I, I'd say the ability's there, and uh, hopefully give Fern a good spin around. Yeah, tell us a little bit about the rider, Fern O'Brien. Has she got much experience? Yeah, no, Fern's well able to ride. Uh, she's been riding out in Willie's there for the last couple of months, and. Um, no, it's great to be able to give her an opportunity. Is this always you think you should be able to win with, whether it's today or not? Today is a learning mission for me more than anything. Um, just figure out the horse a bit, and we've tried a few bits and bobs, headgear and uh, the hood and the tongue tie, and uh, as I say, hopefully something will work. We might not know which one worked, but uh, something hopefully might work. Fair play. Look forward to watching you, Emmett. Thanks for joining us. Appreciate it. Cheers. Thanks. Cheers. Come on. Thank you. Thank you. Watch live racing now on racingtv.com.